Now at five, the laughter has ended for a giant in the world of comedy. Legendary performer Jerry Lewis has died. Good evening. I'm Serene Branson. In tonight for Elsa Ramon. And I'm Peter Dow. Comedy is all about timing, and Jerry Lewis always hit the mark. Tonight, fans are remembering the comic genius who died at age 91. CBS 2 Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez joins us now with a look back on his life and his legacy. Suzanne? I'm tempted to say, hey, guy, hey, lady. <laughs> because, you know, he was a great, he was a massive star in the 60s with films like The Nighty Professor, Cinderella. He spent a half century raising money for Jerry's kids, raising more than two and a half billion dollars. It landed him a nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize. Now, a look back at his life. Jerry Lewis was born into a vaudeville family in New Jersey in 1926. He dropped out of high school to pursue stand-up, and he skyrocketed to fame at the age of 20 when he partnered with Dean Martin. They were an instant hit. Their nightclub act took off. They made 16 feature films. Jerry always cast as the goofball next to Dean's straight man. Despite their great success, their partnership ended bitterly in 1956, 10 years to the day after it started. The split didn't hinder Lewis. His movie career continued to thrive, including The Bellboy in 1960, his directorial debut. Hold it! Hold it! Europe loved him and France worshipped Jerry, honoring him with prestigious comedy and film awards, even creating a Jerry Lewis Day. Yet back at home, he never won an Oscar. His most memorable role was hosting the annual telethon for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. The first launched in 1966, bringing attention to Jerry's kids. It was also the stage used by his pal Frank Sinatra to reunite Lewis with Dean Martin after a 20-year feud. A sentimental moment in TV history. Why? Was there never a moment? Why? You got it. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thank you. Last year, he gave a salty and thoroughly entertaining interview with The Hollywood Reporter. But a few years earlier, another columnist with the magazine, Scott Feinberg, says he had the opposite experience. People get a little cranky as they get older, and I heard that, you know, part of it had to do with his back injury that he had suffered when he was doing Pratt Falls when he was younger. So here was a guy who had had a lot of loss. One of his sons committed suicide. He'd lost most of the people who were his friends over the course of his life. He was a younger star to begin with. He had a, a very celebrated life. He accomplished a lot. But I think mm -hmm. it, it wasn't fun to get old even for Jerry Lewis. And social media is a buzz. It seems everyone has a memory to share about Jerry Lewis.